Hey guys, uh, welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been quite some time for me. I've been busy with some real life stuff, but the new update is here. And uh, today I wanted to go over uh, the Skeleton King and help everybody improve a little bit with their gameplay. Obviously, um, there's three champions, so I'm going to be making three videos. Each of them is going to be a good guide for each of the three. Um, this one's going to be mainly on the Skeleton King. Make sure to keep your eyes peeled for the next two videos that come out about the Golden Knights and about the Archer Queen as well. Uh, the Skeleton King is by far my favorite, and uh, this is a deck that I've been made that I made maybe three hours ago. I've been testing a little bit, and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. Let's jump right into the games. All right, into the first match. Um, hopefully, uh, we do see some non-Skeleton King decks. I, I do want to show this deck off because it's my own creation. Um, Remember, this is a challenge mode because there's no real way. And unfortunately, we don't have our tombstone in cycle, so we have to go like the Skeleton King and Mega Minion and try to kill this quickly. Remember, I don't have the champions unlocked yet because it just came out, so I have to play it in a challenge mode to be able to showcase the deck to you guys. So actually, with this, all these, all this looks are already down. It, I feel safe going for a graveyard, and even even if he if he counters my stuff, I can actually go for another uh, graveyard with my Skeleton King. So I already have two graveyards down. This can be very annoying for the opponent. He has to waste his bar barrel on the Skeleton King, which meant he could not use it on my other graveyard. So with the fact that you have two graveyards, that can be very annoying for your opponent sometimes. Uh, so if you have that opportunity, make sure to go for it. Uh, maybe not the most consistent interaction that you can get, but definitely a, a good one to try to, to go after. To have two, two graveyards at the same time. It's really rare to get that in single, uh, but it is possible. And the double graveyard effect is really powerful, and it can really mess up some players. Uh, I'm just gonna okay, so obviously we can't we can't play tombstone too aggressively uh, Because obviously my opponent's playing hard, but I'm gonna play the skeleton king in the back And the point is if he does something when, when, well, he won't do anything, but when the skeletons do get uh, Over there, it's gonna recharge my uh, skeleton king over and over and over again So we're just gonna take the value and if we need to play the two elixir, we will uh, The two elixir graveyard thing we will we can just go here and I'm actually looking like I'm gonna do it I think he shouldn't have spent that. Yeah, he should he's making mistakes I can get a free graveyard spawn and look at some of those skeletons going to the tower now he has to deal with this and my Mega Minion, and my King. And maybe I can even make some pressure with, with uh, my Graveyard on the opposite lane, which is what I'm thinking about doing right now. I can just go for an A, which I, I don't have to go too aggressive right now. This, this game's going very well. Uh, really no problems so far. Uh, I don't really have any way to improve. You probably shouldn't be going in Hog if he knows, if he knows I have Tombstone. But basically what I'm going to do is every time I have the Tombstone up, we're going to go with the King, because when my opponent plays a Zap or... That the King Tower kills it, I'll just get free skeletons that go towards my Skeleton King's graveyard. It's a uh, very hard unit to play, I think. I think some people are saying it's among the weaker uh, champions that, are, that are, have been released into the game, but I actually like it. It's my favorite of the, of the ones that are available right now. Yeah, look at the bats, all farming, and now we can just go here. Yeah, we're going to play the graveyard, and we're going to go with this two, two graveyards at the same time, and then use the barbell to pick off the archers. That's the play here. That way the opponent can't really deal with all the graveyard skeletons at the same time. And even with bats, like, I'm still getting hundreds of damage. It may not, may not be taking the tower, but it's so strong. Even with Electro Spirit, guys, Electro Spirit and bats, both those answers to graveyard, and it's still hard to deal with all the amount of DPS that you can possibly get. If you play really great, you can get so much value. So, like, right here, I'm going to play the Skeleton King fast. Sometimes you want to wait, but here, if I play the Skeleton King later, I won't get my my souls. So I have to play it early. Otherwise, I would not have gotten the souls from that those uh, those minions. So we're going to play it a little bit early. Use the Mega Minion. Even if things die, even the tower dies, it's fine because I can go Graveyard for two Elixir and then poison everything and it should be game over. There's probably too many hits for my opponent to handle. And even if he does have enough, I would just play Night Witch, put a second one down. And with that, we're going to take the first game. Uh, really great stuff. Uh, this, this deck is really high skill, I'd say, because it's kind of hard to get that value out of the Skeleton King. Uh, it, it doesn't have a lot of HP, but if you can get the graveyard, the first graveyard off, the, the Skeleton King, like, resummon, uh, you, you can really punish the, the opponents, because it's only two elixir. So if you get, if you can get him to the tower, you're going to be crushing your opponent. Let's hop into the next match. Um, let's see what, what our opponent's got. Uh, okay, so it is going to be another Hog Rider matchup. Uh, maybe it's the same deck, but I hope it's not. Don't want to be showing two of the same deck in the same video. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and barbell this. I don't have anything else to play. I might as well just go after it. And look at that bat hitting the tower t three times on the left side there. Uh, it looks like it's going to be Hog uh, Hog Earthquake here, which is a little bit different. It, it will affect the, the uh, spectrum of the game. Uh, if he has a Firecracker, we're going to have to be very careful. And also... Valkyrie is not very fun for uh, any double, uh, certainly a double graveyard deck. It would not be, not be a very fun interaction. So I'm going to go ahead and use this now, only because my opponent still does not know I have the graveyard. So now I have an element of surprise, so he doesn't have his Valkyrie. And here I can just poison. 
Uh, he's going to go ahead and Quake, which is not a bad idea. It stops a lot of the damage. And I can get a lot... Uh, also, for the Archer Queen, you definitely want to poison her. She's so valuable that you need to get the poison on. Otherwise, you're going to be in trouble. So we're going to Barbaril. I actually like my opponent in. Uh, he played that very well. I do have my Skeleton still alive, which means I won't take too much damage, but the Queen does get a few shots, and my opponent is winning here. Uh, the invis invisibility mechanic is very strong, but so you really need to commit to trying to kill the Queen. It's easier if you use spells than uh, units, because the units, like the troops, the troops will not... The, the spells are immune to uh, invisibility, and spells spells hit even if she's invisible, which is why sometimes it's easier to kill her with the spells. I'm just going to go with an Eye Witch Reloading Push, and go ahead and drop another Skeleton King as well. I'm going to try to get a Graveyard, maybe two if it's possible, but, and again, there is Valkyrie, which is going to make this harder. I will play it, just because I, I need to get get some action on the on the tower, otherwise we're losing for sure. Uh, he does have Skellies on the board, but mine are actually doing quite well, and he does have to Quake too, which is an expenditure that he doesn't want to have to make. No one wants to have to play Quake on defense. He wants to be trying to cycle my tower, and just by being aggressive, we're not allowing it. Uh, I'm just going to go for a Mega Minion, because, yeah, and I don't want to let the Fire Spirits connect, because my opponent is going to try to cycle my tower down with just Earthquakes, so we don't want to allow this. Uh, when the when the uh, Queen gets closer, I'm going to use the King again. I don't want to go too aggressive. Uh, the King will get all of these souls from everything on the board, including the uh, Night Witch Bats that are my own. So I can just go for this Poison. Nice, we're hitting everything with a Poison. Definitely happy with that. I'm going to go here. He's going to try to go for an Earthquake, and I'm going to Barbarrel everything. And we should take no hits from the hog, which is exactly what I wanted. And surprisingly, the opponent doesn't even try to use the invisibility on the on the queen. That's interesting. But here, because I have, I have a lot of elixir and a lot of skeletons coming, I'm going to go ahead and use this ability. It's going to go after the Tesla and help out with Valkyrie, but obviously the Valkyrie is going to kill most of it, but we still got to try to get some attack. Uh, here I can just go Mega and just reload. Um, it's really hard to break through with the queen. The queen is very good on defense. Hopefully we only take one hit, that's what I want. Okay, one hit's fine. Uh, it's not the best, but we can take one hit, and we won't be too bad off. As long as the uh, Skeleton King takes tanks for the uh, Tesla, I can get the Graveyard off and get the get the minions on the board. And I won't be able to afford my two Elixir Graveyard because the King dies too fast, but I can still go for this Poison and get some damage. Uh, the thing is, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get quaked out of cycle, like out, out cycled by the quake. So there's there's pretty much no way I can actually get out of this problem. But I can go I can go king and put the tombstone high in case he goes quake again. Right. So we do this and then high mega and then barber everything as well. And that's how we defend that. Now we have to we have to win on this push. This is my last chance. I got to be aggressive. There's no other way to win. He's played his log. He's gonna try to cycle everything to get back to a quake, and he's already got it. But this might have been a good push, but. Then again, this matchup's kind of hard. Uh, when the opponents have a really fast cycle and a queen, the king does struggle a little bit, especially if there's a Valkyrie. The Valkyrie makes it a little bit harder because it makes it so hard to use that two elixir, uh, like, personal graveyard that the king has, but it's still a super strong unit. I'm going to go ahead and show a couple more apps for you. All right, into match number three. Uh, let's see. Um, typically speaking, I don't like to start with the king. Uh, just not the best. Uh, I don't love any of these units. I'd, I'd rather be able to... Okay, now we'll start with the king, because we're up just up three elixir, which is not a problem. Okay, so Pekka. So here's a good here's an example where we'll use the graveyard, the personal graveyard, to defend the king. So we'll go here, and we'll actually, even though it's not gonna put too much down, we still get a couple, and it defends the king for a little bit longer, so the, the Pekka gets distracted, and that's gonna actually allow me to kill the Ewas. That's funny. Just by playing that two elixir, we killed the Ewas. And it's only two looks for the skeleton, so it's not a big expenditure or anything. It's not a big problem at all. I can just go for a tombstone. We'll distract the Pekka. And while it is going to be a skeleton king mirror match, so this is actually going to be really tough because Pekka is actually really, really strong against the king, and I don't have one. So I'm going to have to outplay the opponent. I'm going to go for skeleton king of my own because all these bats of my own that are already on the board will actually go to my king's soul count. So you see how my king's building up. He hasn't even played his, his ability yet. There is the ability finally showing it. And my king is just going to win this fight. My king has the help of the tower. My, I have a mega minion already down. This looks great. I'm going to go for a night witch. Actually, maybe, maybe I should go for a... Uh, I'm going to go for a night witch because I know he wants to pack it. Yeah, the, the, the skellies are going to get killed pretty quick if I do that. So I'm not going to go... Uh, I'm not going to go in this time. But we're still going to get some good value from the king while it's there. He chooses to fireball. Okay, not unreasonable. And I'll go for minions just to help clean off this, uh, this Pekka. So this is going to be a hard match, because there there's a lot of ways for this to go wrong for me. I like playing Tombstone, because it charges up my king, just like before, but 
Again, I don't want to play Tombstone at that. I, I'm kind of just going to play King, King to the side. I don't want to play my, my Tombstone at this. I'll lose almost the entire thing. It's not really worth it. He might try for a P.E.K.K.A., but I don't think he has it in cycle just yet. There's a few ways this guy can play this. Okay, King works. I won't play my, my ability. It's, it's not worth it. You really want to get the ability when, like, the King is about to die and use it right next to the tower. But here he's got Bomber. He's got all kinds of answers. we got to wait for a, for a good opportunity. Remember, guys, with the champions, you don't have to use the ability every time. Uh, like, right here, like, he's given me the best bar barrel of my life. There's, it's, it's pretty hard to get a better bar barrel than that. And I got these air units down. I got my king down. I'm getting ready to make a big push here. Go do this. We're going to go tombstone. And one of the things that is actually good to do with this deck is, like, make an opposite lane push. Like, it's not even bad to do this because I have a, such a huge push on this other side. So, like, look at that. He's got... He's got Bomber there, and he's not defending very well. That's not a good defense, and he's nailed by accident my Night Witch to the, to the tower. So that's very helpful. I definitely appreciate that. Big lead now on the right side, and I think... Okay, well, we're going to play a little bit slow because this is still dangerous. I'm waiting for him to play one more troop so I can poison a lot of things. That would be great. If he won't play anything, I'll just go for a Barbarrel, but if he would have, that would have been great. Yeah, I'm not going to get a Barbara, but I do. I can Tombstone, which is good. And I'm still charging up the King, which is what I really want to do in this. No, we're just going to keep charging the King with the abilities. And again, I'm going to keep making Obazilane pushes, because there's no reason why that's a bad play. Yeah, again, every time he does this, I'm going to put a, I'm gonna do Barbara Graveyard. Just a cheap little push. And this time, I'm actually going to pop my ability over there just to add pressure on that left side. Uh, just because it's it's helpful. It just adds to the attack. And we may actually be able to kill the King on that side of the board, which would be massive. Okay, so look. So I don't know if y'all can see that, but the king was actually killed there, and I can actually just go minions and stop the entire attack. But that's funny, because like the, without the king, he's got nothing. We're actually both playing king with graveyard, which is interesting, too. I can just go tombstone, slowly stall this out. I can even play my king, because the graveyard skeletons that are being killed by the poison will charge up my own king. That's crazy. I, I'm, I'm playing defensive poison, and I'm charging up my king just by having my opponent's graveyard skeletons killed. That's very strong, actually. And I know that it's only... Uh, 237 damage left. I'm, I, I, I see it. Uh, I still want to be very safe and defend. You don't got to go. You don't. You don't have to win immediately. There's no rule. This is win as fast as possible. So I'm just gonna play a little bit slower. I will go here and just barbar on defense. I don't want to play the poison because I want to win. I mean, now I'm gonna waste the poison. I don't think that takes the tower yet, but maybe it does because of the new level 11 tournament standard. But I'm not sure it quite does. Uh, and if it doesn't, I will have made the right call. Yeah, 13 away. So I could not just go super aggressive. I gotta play like super super patient because this is like my chance. But it's over. Poison comes down just in time, and we get the job done. Very nice win. Wow, this deck's actually really strong, and we're not even using the P.E.K.K.A. The is really strong against the King. It's all about how you use that 2 Elixir ability, and how you uh, make your opponent waste their spells, and how, how quickly you can build up your, your, your King's uh, soul count. Alright, let's go into the next game. This game was crazy. Um, this time, I will actually have my favorite cycle. My favorite play is to go Tombstone... And then as soon as it gets set up, I just put my king down. So we'll, we'll go same lane as the archer, but look at all the, the souls we'll get. Just by having, like, the skellies of my, by my opponent. This, we're, just, we're just building up a big attack. So, it, it, and again, it doesn't matter how many souls you get if you don't actually use the ability. But if you do... Oh, no! The opponent's graveyard and double graveyard is definitely going to come here. Definitely. And I've already played it. It's coming. D double graveyard's happening, and good luck. Uh, we're going to poison the Mother Witch. That's one thing about this deck. You need something from Mother Witch, really. Uh, I usually just let it happen. Now that I know it's Mother Witch, I'll play a little bit differently, probably. But uh, we actually are able to take most of that stuff out. And we still get a good bit of damage, at least 600, which is not bad at all. Uh, definitely a significant lead. Okay, so we got to go, like, minions and also play our building immediately. Otherwise, we're just not doing well. So we have to play this. And now we'll go Barbarrel to tank for the minions just to make sure we have something to protect them. He might try Mother Witch, which would be good, but he needs it for the graveyard, so he probably won't play it just yet. Okay, we'll get some extra damage. Wow, we're actually going to get a lot of damage from these minions. That's about half his tower already gone, the first minute and a half. But yeah, RG Mother Witch will be annoying, because we have to poison the Mother Witch every time. So we have to we have to make sure, if you're going to play a deck with so, many graveyard, with, with, with so many graveyard skeletons and king skeletons, you're going to have to deal with these Mother Witches, otherwise you're going to be in big trouble. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and play slow. If he keeps playing Fisherman's Behind, I'm going to go King straight on, and that's going to be really hard for him to stop. I'll play King, just like before. He needs to play Mother Witch right now to stay alive here. 
And this time I'm not going to use my king ability because I need to get them with Mother Witch poisoned like immediately. Otherwise we're just going to lose. So you have to be very careful. This is really tough because of the, because of Mother Witch. Every time we face Mother Witch, we're going to have at least difficulty, but maybe not. It's not going to be like impossible or anything. It's just going to be harder to win. Uh, I'm going to, I need to push this back too. Otherwise I'm not going to win either. It's a lot of things you have to get right with this. Otherwise you're just not doing well. So you have to be very careful. Uh, but if you can get the right push down, you're, you're going to be doing very well with this deck. Uh, I'm going to go, I have to keep going Night Witch. Because Mother Witch is just really good against this. That's one of the deck's main weaknesses. If you just just face Mother Witch is really annoying. But I can of course go Skeleton King and wait. All those all those uh, skeletons just died, so I can make a big push here. I think. And this will be it. This is where I'm gonna go in because he's gonna have to play a Mother Witch back there, right? Oh, I couldn't get the I couldn't get the ability done in time. I tried. Uh, but here I'll ignore this Fisherman, defend this Valkyrie. Sorry, not Valkyrie. Uh, Archer Queen. It's so hard to like recognize all the units now. It's there's so many different troops now in the game. Ooh, ooh, wait. There we go. Got it down, and now we can just go for this poison. And wait a minute, this might be really good. Wait a minute, this looks really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and do this. The graveyard's actually defending against the RG. What? My graveyard, my 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 king skeleton defended against the RG, and now I have a chance. And this is a hard matchup too. I have a chance. I'm gonna go here and do this, and make a big attack right away, and wow, he's trying to punish me, but I'm just going to do this. And who's winning? I don't know. Who's winning? <sighs> okay, okay. I want to preface, this game should never be won by me, ever. It should not be close. My man is playing Archer Queen and Mother Witch, and he's converting everything like crazy, and I can't even kill the Mother Witch very fast because I don't have a fireball. Uh, wow. Uh, that's, it's a hard, it's a hard matchup to play for sure. I missed, I missed the Tombstone push with the RG where you can try to use the Tombstone to push the RG back, uh, but, oh, uh, wow. <laughs> can't believe we're getting that win. Awesome. Let's see. So, remember, when you're playing the King, make sure to maximize the number of skeletons that you're able to use, and we're going to get Hog again. Actually, interesting. So we're gonna go here, just barbarling everything, and we're gonna go ahead and do this because he's gonna use the ice golem to try to kill the skellies. And even he actually missed the log. Wow, he missed the log, and uh, I'm gonna get a whole bunch of value here. Okay, so this is gonna be a big push, I think. Uh, I have to be very careful. I should play. I should be aggressive early because I have a nice attack. I can go here and also use my ability because I have enough elixir to do both. And this is actually really hard to defend. The queen is getting melted. Oh, but it's, he, oh, he made a mistake. He turned the queen invisible, and all of my skeletons went straight for the tower. My opponent, like right there, you have to, you have to wait. He, he should have realized he can't, he can't use the invisible queen, because when his queen went invisible, all the skeletons that I had just made went straight for his tower, and now he's completely losing. So remember, just because you play a champion does not mean that you need to necessarily use the ability. In fact, most of my pushes when I'm, making, when I'm playing the Skeleton King, I actually don't use it. Like, probably maybe a third of all the pushes I make actually end up using the ability. Because it's actually kind of hard to get a lot of value. Like, if they're already defending the king, it's pretty hard to actually get some. I'm gonna, I'm just going to go poison. I don't, I'm not even worried about using my ability. Uh, the queen's probably going to defend it anyway. I'm getting some shit from the, the bat already that's on the board. Not worried at all. Yeah, this is alright. I'm not, I'm not too scared about this at all. And actually, my mother witch comes in clutch and kills the queen. Uh, I'm going to go for Mega Minion because our opponent obviously wants to go for a hog rider, right? No? Interesting. Okay, we'll just go here. Sure. See what they do. Are we giving up? Did I outplay you hard enough? Looks like we... Oh, we're not giving up. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, let's just go here. I don't really know what that is. Like, it does... You, you, you accomplished nothing. Oh, my king went the wrong way for a second. That really freaked me out. I was like, oh no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna lose my nice push. Here I have so much units down already, I can just go in. I have so many, I have so many skeletons on the board, I can just go in and make this attack and use my ability, and everything's coming, going right here. I can just poison. This is all good. We're hitting both towers. Nothing wrong here at all. This is a nice push. And it, at the very least, we kill the queen and get a tiny bit of ship damage. At least. Don't want our opponent the prediction log. Wow, yes. Wow, look at that. If we would have played our tombstone back there on defense, we would have we we gotten taken some hoggets, but we played on the other side on purpose to avoid any logs, log predictions or anything like that. And it pays off. Yeah, like this, not to mention, this is with Ice Golem and Log, right? So, yeah, I, I mix up the placement a, a second time so that he still couldn't predict what I was going to do. All right, now I'm going to use the ability. 
it's cheaper than graveyard, that's why. No, no other reason. It's just cheaper than, than using the graveyard. And we still force the log out, and the queen will still be killed here. No problem. The thing is, though, when you, uh, one more tip. When you're playing the king, uh, you're, you're really reliant on having the game be a one-tower game. Uh, because once that king's activated, your ability is just worse. Because the king tower is going to be helping you, uh, sorry, helping your opponent, and it's going to be really hard to get as much value out of the skeletons. Uh, anyways, uh, this is a fun deck. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, very, this is just a cool deck. I really like it. Uh, just, I feel the other, the other champion's abilities are easier to use and maybe seem more impactful, but if you make the right play with the skeleton king at the right time, you might make a three times bigger push than any of the other champions can make alone. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, remember, keep your eyes uh, peeled for my Golden Eye video, which is going to be coming next. And then after that, my Archer Queen video as well. We're going to do a video for all the champions, and I'm going to make a, a deck for each one. And we'll maybe do some more than just those three, but I'm going to do just very general ones. This one was just a general sort of how to use it. Remember, using the Tombstone. Uh, to build up the, the the amount of skeletons in the in the, in the actual, actual king's hand, you can also use the ability on defense too. Like if there's like a golem or something, you can play it, and then it can make it can make a huge number of skeletons appear and help you fight the golem off for only two elixir. Uh, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this content. I'm gonna go link you to my last video, uh, which came out a while ago. It's my it's my first video in a while, but I got a few more coming out this week. Uh, and my last video is gonna be linked over there on the side. And uh, I'm going to have a subscription button down there if you guys are interested. Remember, uh, two more videos coming out soon with the other champions. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.